What's going on guys, it's Ethos here. Today, I am bringing you something very special. I am bringing you how to play KO, the newest Valorant agent of episode three right here. Wright has been nice enough to invite me out again to play test the new episode in Agent. And today, I spent a couple games playing him, a lot of time in the server just seeing what's possible with him. And today I'll be showing you guys how his abilities work and how you can use them to play aggressively. Hey, what's going on guys? Ethos here. Just wanted to say all these clips are taken from my stream. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash ethos. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and join my Discord server down below. Enjoy the video. So for a lot of you guys who play CSGO, and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who have played CSGO before, you will be very happy with this agent because it, this agent is very reminiscent of a CSGO, uh, of, of CSGO utility, you know, he's, he's an ability that nullifies other abilities. And basically, I think a lot of the people who came from CSGO that didn't like Valorant too much was because there was just too many abilities being spammed. So yeah, you guys are in for a treat here. So first off, we have the Fragment, which is a molly. Uh, and it's not the typical type of molly. It's a molly that kind of pulses, but it, it, is, a, it is a Molotov. Something you can throw on the ground. Uh, and that costs 200 uh, credits. And then he has two flashes as well, which is 250 each, coming to a total of 700 credits for his entire kit. And then you also have his zero point, which is pretty much the knife that nullifies abilities. And this is his signature ability, so you don't have to buy it, and it also recharges throughout the round. So first, let's go over the fragment. So again, it's a molly, but instead of just being a normal molly that just gives damage consistently, continuously throughout its duration, it's actually a molly that pulses. Let's see, it has these pulses here, and it pulses about four times before disappearing uh each pulse does a, a lot of damage so it's actually really strong and you can use it just like a normal molotov but we'll do a lot of just more chunk damage so so if that first pulse hits and someone's low it could just kill them on the first pulse this molotov also has the same physics as a viper orb i believe so for all you viper mains that know lineups already you're gonna have a very easy time getting used to uh this agent because these post plant molas you can do uh this is one i just found right right here you know, will be really easy for you. I'm sure a lot of you Viper mains already know a lot of lineups and I can maybe go into a lineup video later with this agent. There's a lot of cool lineups you can do and you can de definitely toss them in the sky and they definitely be used in a post plant situation to deny a defuse. Next up, we have the flash. And this flash is just like a CS flash. There's a left click and a right click throw. There's a timer on it as well, just like a CSGO flash. The right click flash will actually pop a little bit faster. I think it's about one second. The left click flash will pop after about 1.6 seconds. So just like CSGO, you can just literally just throw flashes like over for your teammates, just like that. Again, KO is an initiator, so he's definitely really good at helping his teammates get on the site and setting them up for nice kills. You also bank it off of walls if you want. This is a little easier to turn from, but there are definitely a lot of ways you can use this to your advantage. If you play CSGO before, it'll feel very natural for you to use this flash. Flashes like this, maybe. Something that'll pop on the other side that won't blind you. And this flash also lasts literally forever. It's just like a sky flash, I think. I don't know how long the exact duration is, but look at this. It lasts literally forever and again with the flash there's a right click also which is a shorter throw just like that and it'll pop faster it pops at about one second which is about 50 percent faster than the other flash and you can definitely use this to try to pop flash opponents for a close range i just looked away from that flash rl don't don't make fun of me for it there are definitely a lot of cool things you can do with this flash kind of maybe just throw it into this hole like that um uh, lots of great ideas you can flash for your teammates from across the map you can flash for yourself flash is really nice i think it's one of the most straightforward uh easy flashes to use especially i uh, was a csgo player and next we have the ability null nullifying uh knife which is called the zero point and this is actually really cool so basically when you throw this knife it'll stick on the first thing that it hits and ginormous radius and it'll suppress everyone within that giant orb you just saw and when you suppress them they can't use their abilities for like 10 to like 15 seconds i'm not quite sure on the exact amount but it's pretty long and on top of that it also tells you exactly who you've suppressed so it doesn't tell it doesn't show you exactly where but anyone who's within this circle uh who gets hit by that it'll tell you exactly who their agent and everything it'll tell you if it's you know two or three and it'll show you the pictures of them as well so it's actually great not only at clearing out space and uh nullifying abilities making kills easier for you but also gathering info telling you who's there you can maybe throw a knife into wine and it'll tell you maybe if there's a guy in wine 
lastly we have his alt and his alt basically has the same exact effect as his knife it's kind of it kind of works the same way as like a reina alt like an empress where you kind of like buff yourself but basically you have uh you basically you pulse just like you would through knife and everyone within this pulse here that happens every like five seconds or whatever is going to get suppressed it won't last as long as the knife it won't reveal them but they will be suppressed on top of that you are stimmed you shoot a lot faster and if you do get killed in this state uh for however long it lasts uh you get knocked you don't actually die you get knocked um just like you would in a battle royale like fortnite or PUBG or or um or apex legends and the enemy team actually can't finish you right away you have a thousand hp to work with and the revive time is like i don't know three to five seconds it's actually pretty fast there's actually a very high chance of you getting revived if your teammates stay up or if you're in a safer spot so this ult is actually insane actually really crazy crazy too what's cool about the knife and his ult is that if you let's say you hit a cypher or a killjoy their stuff goes down so if you hit uh, if you hit a cypher over there then all their trips will go down and they can't use your camera or anything like that same with the killjoy they can't pop their mollies lauren bot uh turret all don't work that's really cool and also when you hit anybody with this they just can't use their ability keys at all uh this will not affect ults though they can't pull out an ult if it's not placed yet but for example if there's a killjoy ult or a viper ult down it will not get rid of the killjoy or the viper roll. Also, I want to note that if you hit a Viper with this while her utility is up, like her wall and her orb, uh, that does not disable them. She still has the ability to turn them on if she wants to. But if they're not up already, then she cannot turn them on. She also obviously can't pull out her molly. So that about does it for the ability walkthrough. Let's go into actually how to use this agent. So again, this agent is an initiator, but he's actually very self-sufficient. Just like all the other initiators, they're getting a buff as well, like Sky and Breach, uh, where they can actually kind of play for themselves more. But this agent is actually very self-sufficient. And honestly, when I've played him, it feels a lot like a duelist. I feel like I don't have to necessarily only set up my teammates for kills to be impactful. I can also set up myself for a lot of kills and it's actually really strong. So first, I would like to go over kind of like how I I would use them on t-side so first you can use his knife to kind of gain again info and also just nullify play so for example at the beginning of the round if you want to you throw a knife like up here or something and that'll basically stop anyone uh who's let's say like a jet or a reina who's like playing up close they no longer have a dash or dismissibility so now if they're if they came up here to play a one and done they all there it's going to be a one and done they can't dash or dismiss away if it's like a breach or a sky who's playing here who's playing to pop flash if they get hit by this ability not only do you know that they're there they can't pop flash anymore so they might have to fall off as well the knife has a recharge time of 40 seconds so you can keep using it throughout the round given there's enough time and you stay alive so you could use the knife first to you know clear out this angle stop any aggression here and then 40 seconds later in the round you can use it for an actual exit uh you can use the molly just as any other molly you know you can use it to clear out annoying angles or you could use it in a post plan situation where you want to stop the defuser from diffusing or if you want to just stop people from like running out heaven or running out door you absolutely can the flashes as well you can use these flashes uh just as you would you know in csgo where you know you could flash for your teammates if you want to or you could you know literally just flash for yourself and your team if they want to run through a smoke like that and they're very powerful and i can kind of show you guys what a round would look like where i use all of his util his ult as well is just the ultimate exec ult um kind of like a breach ult in my opinion because doing this right here will pretty much ensure that everyone who's hit by this pole so if there's like a any ciphers or anything back here they're gonna get hit by it or killed right here they're gonna hit by it and then all the stuff goes down any skies or breaches who are playing back here playing for pop flashes or anything like that they can't use it so they're just gonna have to fight to their death so when you use this it kind of forces the enemy team to almost play retake or just fight for their lives right there it should be pretty obvious but your teammates abilities are obviously unaffected by this and you guys can still use all the abilities and the enemies can't which is super overpowered closed door whatever let's say if you want to aggress into heaven you could throw a flash like this maybe this is kind of like a, a flash that'll only blind them uh but not you because the posture on this box or you could just right click a flash just like a phoenix would and then you know have a, a, a teammate jump up here or you could just do it yourself and flash for yourself just like that same thing towards tree if you want to get really aggressive like hold w just like a duelist would you close the door come up here right there's nothing in here flash in a tree and then you know kill everyone in here or you know you could throw this flash if you let's say they break door the second they about to break it or maybe you break it yourself so you guys can throw a flash like this and you know your teammates can run through and kill everyone on cat 
Other ways you can use your util, you know, it's like throw a knife here, make sure that there's no one playing in the whole cat area. This entire cubby here is covered by that. Anyone playing in these angles are going to get spotted by the knife and also suppressed. Same way if you want to throw a knife into market, this knife will cover all of market and pizza. So you know if there is no scans that there's no one playing currently in market and pizza. Also, let's say if you want to flash like a jet or a teammate up into market, throw a flash just like that. It'll pop right into market and pizza, just like a pop flash. If you want to do it for yourself, you can just pop flash yourself like that. And it's very hard to turn from and they last literally forever. Also, what's very nice about this flash is that your gun doesn't take too long to pull back out. You can flash like this and I'm already shooting before the flash even pops. So my gun's more than ready to fight with. Same thing here. It's literally already ready to shoot. Same thing towards B. I'm doing a scent just as, you know, just as an example. You can apply these concepts to literally any map with any comp or anything like that. I just wanted to just show you kind of like how you would play them. Um, one thing you could do here maybe is throw a knife like that. And this will cover uh, these angles here. Right, if you want for any early aggression like that, you know, operas or whatever, right? Like this is gonna be so annoying for like jets who like like to you know up and then dash away, like up like aggro like this or whatever, you know, like they up in like this area like this. They can't get away. It's they, they can't play off angles because they can't dash away. They can't smoke or they can't do anything. And you'll also know that they're there. You know, you could throw flashes like this if you want, just flat a flash out normally for your team. Uh, maybe you could maybe you could lob one over the site like this just like you would in csgo or actually what i think would be really great is if you actually right click a flash through the window that would actually be really powerful for anyone who's trying to hold the b main area thing you can do is you know throw a knife into market see if anyone's there or throw a knife towards stairs and ct see if anyone's there again you can molly market knife this flash out like this it's like that if you want and bang covers a lot it's it's a really strong initiator and you can very easily play for yourself as well and then maybe if you don't use your knife you can throw your knife back sight instead see if there's anyone there if there's no one there you don't have to clear you don't have to check and you don't have to spend that time to clear anymore if there is someone there you can flash back sight and have your team just just mow them down but yeah that about does it for ko on attack side let's go over how i would play him on the defense side but first off, he can literally play any site, I think. He's a lot like like Sova or Sky. You know, he can immediately get info at the beginning of the round. Throw a knife like that, maybe. Or throw a knife up here. That's immediately get info if there's anyone outside being main. Early pushing it. Uh, if not, then boom, it's easy. Obviously, the enemy teams could hide from it. But that does kind of stop the whole, like, BXX, the B rushes, uh, without you knowing. And if you hit them with it, then, like... How are they going to exec now? Their uh, their abilities are now all nullified, and you your teammates still all have their abilities. So they're going to be trying to entry a site with no abilities, and we still have all of our abilities. So it's really good at stopping, you know, the omen flash dash, uh, breach flash out, uh, raise satcheling out, uh, kind of plays where they just immediately B pop or immediately A pop. Towards the mid round, if they are execing and your knife isn't up or whatever, you can throw a molly down to the delay. It's like that. CT or you could throw it down from you know from market just like you would with any other character like brimstone phoenix or viper or killjoy you can really delay with this agent and also when they come out you can throw flashes for yourself and as they're running out and just get free kills or flashes like this maybe if you're playing stairs free kills on anyone on site or you can literally just lava pop flash just like that and you're going to be really good at it. What's really nice about uh, KO is pop flashing through smoke. Just like how a Phoenix would flash through a smoke. You can do the same exact thing, but I think better because the flash lasts for longer. Uh, and you can control it more, you know. Uh, instead of just throwing it left or right, you can actually just throw whatever di direction you want. Right click just like that. So, you know, if market smoked and, you know, they're running out, running through your molly or whatever, you think they're already out lane, throw a flash out. Obviously, there's no smoke, but you could literally, if there's a smoke, you can literally just run out with the flash after it pops. And you just flash, pop, run out. A lot of kills just like that. Uh, literally, really anywhere, honestly. I mean, like, he's such a well-rounded agent that you can play him from literally any, anywhere. Like the molly, the, the molly to delay, the knife for info and to suppress, and then the flash to just, you know, swing off of me and kills. Like, I don't see any flaws with this agent, really. So, yeah, that's kind of how I would play from B, you know. If, he's, if you're playing from market and, like, you have your util up, maybe throw a dart, maybe throw a knife like this, you know, you can 
suppress them all, see how many people are there. If there's a lot, throw a molly down, you're smoked off, right? You can throw a flash out and then swing out with it with your teammates or just by yourself, doesn't even matter. So you're playing CT, same idea, knife, through there, molly, and then get ready. You can throw a flash over here if you want, if you want to do that, or you can just pop flash through the smoke, which is totally fine as well. So then you're playing stairs, knife, molly, flash, same ideas, same ideas. Very simple, very straightforward, but very powerful. Very, very powerful. Now, same thing here, how I would play them, you know, towards you know the market or mid area. If you have info that they're coming up mid, you want to slow them down, you could pop a molly, or you could throw a flash maybe like this. A flash like that, that'll blind everyone and not blind you, especially if you tuck it in this corner like that. What's great about flashes like this and flashes like in CSGO, like uh, it's, a, it's a flash that won't blind you, but will blind the enemy, is that, you know, they have one option. They can, they'll see the flash. A good player would probably turn from, from it because they can't shoot it, obviously. Uh, but if they're turning from it, right, then they're going, then, you know, you're shooting people who aren't looking at you which is an easy kill or if they uh, if they don't turn from it and they try to kill you they're going to be flashed and then that's also an easy kill unless they you know instantly headshot you but chances are they're not if they're gonna be worried about this same thing if you know you just want to play towards pizza for like one and done just flash like that bunch of free kills flash out mid if you want this is the, the mid smoke also on defense if you want to get early information uh you want to stop you know the sova drone or or whoever you know that they go uh tiles a lot Throw a knife like that maybe and suppress everyone get numbers there also uh one thing to know about the knife is that they can't shoot it before it pops so if it's in a place that they can see uh, and they have reactions good enough they can shoot it so i wouldn't recommend you know just throwing it like at their feet like that super easily but you can throw a knife like that something that's like literally on the other side of the wall and they can't shoot that and they can see it but they can't shoot it and they're gonna get revealed you know or a knife or a knife over here even something up top something that's like hard from the to see or hit and then you throw a knife up there and it'll scan all top mid and they'd have to swing out all the way wide to be able to shoot it over here right the same idea if you want to do early information on tiles something like that maybe uh or if you want to get early information a main even something like that if they're at the if they're at the orb they obviously can't shoot it uh, if you have info that they're coming up cat or if you hear people running up you can throw a knife like that see how many people are up cat trying to run at you if there's a lot throw a molly down if you want you can also throw a flash like this if you'd like that's a crazy flash here that's going to be hard for them to turn from and also a one-way flash for you. If you throw a flash like this, this is a one-way flash, you can literally have your gun out and just shoot at them while that flash is popping. And they are going to have to either one, turn from it and not look at you and die, or uh, not turn from it, look at you, but get flashed and then die. So it's a it's a win-win for you. Same idea if they're running up cat and you see them, just drop a molly. If you want to delay, you can just drop a molly on them, make it a little more uh difficult for them to get up cat. They can run through it, but they'll have to take a lot of damage for it. For A main defending A, maybe you're still defending A from cat. Let's say they're running up, uh running out A, it's an A pop or whatever you hear a lot of people running. You throw enough like that, maybe, and it'll catch everyone, uh most of A main here must have aimed and people trying to run out and it'll be very hard for them to run out and uh break that knife because they're gonna have to come running out and then looking to the left trying to break this knife while you know you have teammates maybe uh in closet heaven hell dice jenny you know anywhere so like coming out of a main and then immediately having to worry about this it's not ideal you're probably gonna die so <laughs> having that knife is really good to just suppress the enemy team so it's really good at just delaying uh enemy execs getting info and just setting up your teammates for kills and yourself for kills as well now uh, let's say you get uh, a ping you know three to five people are there you could throw a molly down to delay same thing throw a flash like this maybe or you could just right click a flash through the door smoke which i've done before and gone to 4k and it's very very easy so you just flash like that um or you know you can flash for yourself like this or for your team either one something here you want to throw a knife down like that and see that they're coming up cat you're playing from heaven throw a molly down like that maybe and then that will literally cover this entire cross so they're not gonna be able to cross without taking damage and now let's move on to how to defend a site so one thing you can do right off the bat uh, right away uh, with the knife again to get early information stop rushes all that kind of stuff help get orb control no knife like this and it's gonna be very hard for them to break they're gonna have to swing out wide to shoot it in that time you could flash and kill them or if you want you can throw knives towards top mid just like this get information on top mid early or deep a bane early see if they're over there what's really nice about him is that you can flash for your teammates if uh, they want to peek you can throw flashes high for your teammates and they will blind people in a main just like that 
and your teammates will be able to peek from over here in a main and they'll be completely not blind at all and you know you could do something like you know the breach or omen flash jet dash with this kind of play literally throw flashes above just dome above like that and they will literally full blind anyone who's here and they will be very very hard to turn from you will see them for very shortly and they'll be in the sky you won't be looking at them they'll be very hard to turn from and your jet can dash at them also if you want to play closer up let's say you know the knife here they're running they don't care that they get suppressed you throw a molly down a delay if you want or you could throw a pop flashes like this just like that something like that or you could you know throw the yoru one-way flash like that if you want but it's you know it's really easy to turn from but either way you know if you're gonna swing on them they're turning it and it's you know <laughs> it's up to them i would not recommend you know just normally left clicking off a wall like that because that's so easy to see so easy to read for them so i would recommend if you're going to try to pop flash for yourself you know right click like this would be better or or unless you have some situational flash like this anyways guys uh that about does it for my uh how to play ko tutorial um there's a lot of great plays with him i honestly like i mean i'm a yoru main and i play a lot of agents i think this will be one of my newest favorite agents to play honestly like not even because i want to support or whatever but just because i think his kit brings up brings so much value to his team but also just has so much self-sufficiency that it's just incredible and i would just really enjoy playing him so yeah that about does it guys thank you guys so much for uh, watching the video if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time